Next up, a way to expand the functionality of your fingerprint sensor with a bit of extra design flair. Fingerprint Gestures offers an impressive list of functions and actions for your sensor once it's active. You'll know it's active when this notification appears in your notification pane. Here in Settings, I can assign actions for single taps, also double taps, and swipes. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, but tapping in any one of those functions, I'm shown the depth at which I can assign those actions to functions on the device in a very nice visual design. You'll also notice a few extras assigned to root users only. Things like launching into assistant or taking a screenshot. You can also scroll up or scroll down, which could be nice if assigned to the swipe, for example. Now up top is this icon touch panel. This is a little bit different. Think of this as a shortcut pane. If I assign the tap action to this one, and then we'll head to my home screen and I'll tap the fingerprint sensor to show it off. I'm shown this three by three grid. Now I can tap and hold on any one of those icons and that'll allow me to assign a function to that part of the grid. The graphical icon from the settings that you saw earlier appears within that box now every time I perform that action. There's profile support in settings that allows me to assign the current settings to a loadable profile at will and some advanced settings to dial in the double tap delay speed and to require registered fingerprints in order to work for security. And finally, there's this setting to tell the app if your phone is using Google's fingerprint API or if you happen to be on a Samsung device that does things a little differently. That's going to make this even more supported than some of the other apps. Fingerprint Gestures is free, but you can pay $1.49 for the premium version, which removes the ads from the experience. Find Fingerprint Gestures in the Play Store now.